My interest in drawing and painting came in the very early years, but was dormant in the school period. It revived when teaching, and at 22 I went to New York to study art, with less than $200 to finance the ambition. I paid my fees for the fall term at a school at Broadway and Columbus Avenue. To my surprise and distress, the school closed. It was reading about the art scene in New York and that public library in Paisley that inspired him ultimately to make the big trip by train and boat to New York City. Sometime in the student period, I had taken to painting from nature. Shortly after leaving the League, I was able to make enough money doing show cards half a day to paint the other half. Every day from 1 o'clock, I was at 8 East 42nd Street making money. Every morning I painted somewhere in the streets, parks, or suburbs. Everywhere, in front of the public library, on Columbus Circle, in the Bronx, in Van Cortland Park, and in almost every other park, at the Erie Basin, along the Hudson, and on the East River. We heard rumblings of Cezanne, Van Gogh, and Gauguin. Soon we are going to see thrilling little exhibitions of modernist painting and sculpture at Stieglitz's little cupboard of a gallery, 291. Matisse, Picasso, Brancusi, we missed none of them. Then, in 1913, came the Armory Show of Modern Art. My tendency towards freer work must have been formed much previous to this because we were invited and exhibited in the big show. We were quite overlooked in the outcry against the sensational Frenchman. In fact, we pretty well forgot about ourselves in the most thrilling and worthwhile of art exhibitions. Apparently it had little direct effect on my own painting, perhaps because I was already familiar with much of it, and even more because I already had my feet firmly set on a path of my own. <laughs> 